If you're joining us for the first time, I recommend you take a step back and watch this video series starting with episode one. Hey everyone, JP Emanuel here, and we're still hanging out at Haas Brew House with my fellow SolidWorks teammates, Brian, Mark, and Earl. And we've just finished mashing the grains. And we've moved into the next step, which is called loudering, which roughly means to rinse off or purify. This step is really just a way to separate the wort from all the grains we still have in the bottom of our kettle. There also happens to be an additional step known as sparging, where we take additional hot water and pour it over those grains in hopes to extract any remaining sugars. Because that's what this step is all about. We really want to get all those sugars out of the grain. The convenient thing about this step is that with the electric home brewing kit we have here, we can utilize the same kettle for more than just one step in our process. It's all about efficiency, especially when we're limited to the overall smaller space that we're working in. And speaking of efficiency and relating this to SOLIDWORKS Electrical, I would probably point to one of my favorite features in the software called Project Macros. This feature is kind of like using that kettle and combining multiple steps into one. In older schematic tools, the idea behind adding symbols and part information can be a long and tedious task where we need to draw or add a symbol and then include part information or simply add text boxes with the information we want. With Project Macros, we can take a symbol, add its manufacturer part information, and save it off into our database. The neat thing about this is that we're not limited to using it with just this one project. It's available for any project we start in the future. The old copy-paste method that is still used in older CAD tools has become obsolete. Project Macros are especially powerful when we need to associate more than just one manufacturer part to a symbol, such as a connector we might need to account for its housing, its back shell, cable clamp, heat shrink, all the pins, all of which typically have their own part numbers. We can even take this a step further. If one symbol and its part information is not enough, we can highlight multiple symbols and all the wires connecting those symbols, and then create a macro. Is that still not enough? We can even create a macro that combines multiple sheets. What it all boils down to, no pun intended, is having the ability to streamline our process and become efficient during the initial design phase. There are a variety of other features such as smart parts, Excel automation, automatic reports that we can use in conjunction with macros to finish off our projects just, just that much faster. I don't have time to cover everything about macros here because I really want to get back to helping Earl. But there's definitely a few more tips and tricks that go into creating a new macro. Just visit mysolidworks.com and search for Electric Brewery. Do you have an idea for a SOLIDWORKS Electrical how-to video? Post a comment and the team here will work on creating a valuable video for all of our users to take advantage of. And if you're a fan of Twitter, you can also follow me at SWECAD. That's S-W-E-C-A-D. We'll see you next time on Brewing with Electricity, the SOLIDWORKS Brewery.